What's up guys, it's Tenkosh and today we're doing leveling guide for Idol Berserker. I will teach you how to level in the game the fastest so you can gain a lot of levels, extra loot and extra XP. Let's go. So here is the my account and it's been on for the whole night and I think during that time we got somewhere from 40 to 50 levels. Check out the recent video to compare the levels, I don't remember but we gained a lot, a lot of stuff. So first things first. You want to let your game run in the background. If you're playing offline like I did before, if you open the game, do dailies and close it, you won't be able to level properly, although some of those tips will help you out. But for the most efficient way of doing this, you would like to run it 24-7. You can use it on the phone, you can leave the phone on the charge and let it run there, or you can install it on the blue stacks on the PC, that's what I did. So when my PC is on, during the night the game is running in the background and you know phone can be useful you can do anything with it and it better it doesn't die that fast so it's it's a good opportunity for you i'll drop the link in the video description on the installation of this game on bluestacks uh and uh, basically what do you need is to get the right uh gear skills and masteries for your offline grind if you want to do this for a long time like not a one time thing but you're like dedicated and you want to get as many levels as possible you would like to adjust few things we'll start with the easiest one that does require a lot of investments and move on to the harder and harder ones that require more and more investments but in the long term they will pay off pay off if you want to do that for a long term basically yeah <laughs> so the first thing first are your mastery points um your normal normal mastery should be based on the offense and uh, should ignore gold and experience rate for the farming run though you would like experience to the maximum and gold rate to the maximum that will help you out drastically in your gains and then max out attack speed skill damage skip the boss damage because you won't be fighting bosses amplify attack here and then the rest will go into the oh yeah critical chance and critical damage and the rest will go into the attack the um, order of things should be experience rate, gold rate, then critical chance, then critical damage, then attack speed, then skill damage, then amplify attack, then attack. But for the most of you guys, well, I think, yeah, you don't, if you don't have amplify attack yet, you're good because you will get a lot of extra points. So, yeah, should be something like that. That's for the mastery. Now, uh, the next thing is awakening ability. Uh, you might want to select one specific set, I have it right here, uh, and do some reset abilities really quickly and roll for something cool. Here I have item drop rate, experience rate and experience rate, and uh, if you want levels, if you want to level up to gain more strength, you want to go for experience rate. Later in the game, like at the late game, you would like to change to item drop rate, that will allow you to get more gear and level up your gear faster to get more SSR gear, but that's for the late game. Early on, I think experience rate worth more. So we can do few rerolls, like full rerolls or something like that. We can try to do it here really fast. So bam, we got S. So we can roll for SSR. Oh my god, that's nice. SSR attack. That's really nice, but not for our build here. So yeah, you would like to reroll a few times until you get some really good. I'm okay with SR ones, right? With with S ones even. But if you really want to go for it, you can get like this item drop rate. Uh, the, the difference isn't that high, look at that, 5.3, that's low. So, yeah, if you have extra rolls though, if you don't, like, that's not the top priority, but it's easy to get, you don't really need it mixed out, you can roll a little bit just to get some basic stuff, and then, after that, you can re-roll it later, like I did here. You can use two of those um, tabs, how you want it. But yeah, you got the idea, right? But in any case, your top priority should be making your basic build where you roll the attack instead of rolling the thing that we rolled. So you're okay even with lower tier ones. They will give you an edge in the long term. Next ones, runes are okay. Wall stones, same stuff. But this one is very expensive though. For the wall stones, you would like to get the same specific things on them. I don't have it because I do, don't do it that much. But uh, you can get the proper bonuses here. Let me see if I have some of those. Like gold rate on this one will help you out in the farming. Uh, do we have XP gain here? Yeah, enchant stone drop rate, th those farming ones. And if you get the XP 
that's even better. There we go. We got experience rate available here as well. But uh, this is very costly. This is probably the one of the most expensive things. So don't go for it unless you are really sure what you're doing. Because it will take a lot of time for you to get the right stones for your attack bonuses. And your attack bonuses stones will allow you to farm higher stages. So, you know, it's um, a really debatable opinion. But... Yeah, I would advise if you are new, if you don't know what you're doing, to go for the attack set that you are using everywhere here for the world stones. But if you want to maximize your gains, you can go for the second one. Then the equipment, same stuff. You can have your top tier weapon, your top tier glove, uh, and top top tier whatever. But for the farming, you would like to go for something like, uh, again, you will use those rolls here for something that gives you experience rate, item drop rate, that kind of stuff. So you can get a uh, few rerolls here and get some really, really good uh, farming gear on the ring specifically because ring doesn't matter that much. So yeah, basically same as everywhere else, roll for experience rate, gold rate, item drop if you rolled everything else already and then you can equip this uh, lower tier ring and that will give you extra XP drops, same goes for the weapon, you can equip lower tier weapon, one tier lower, it won't do that much difference. Same with the gauntlet, lower tier gauntlet, and uh, get the proper things there. Although, once again, it's uh, pretty expensive to do that, so do it if you're sure about it. This is less expensive than the world stones, but it's still pretty expensive. But that's one of the options that you have. I myself run with the highest tier stuff all, all the time because I forget to change them before the dungeons. So, you know, it, in my opinion, for non-long term, like, the difference won't be that crazy high. So, yeah, I prefer to run with the top stuff. I just switch the mastery out because that 220% bonus is really powerful in comparison with everything else. Then the creatures. In the creatures, you would like to change it out a little bit as well. I have this stat right here. So we have the SR pet here that gives us extra uh, level up chance. And uh, let's take a look what we have here. This is expensive as well because you gotta get the right pets and you gotta level them up as well, most likely. So expensive stuff. And I think the green ones are good. Yes, you got the partner skill to obtain diamonds. If you have this one, this will be really good. It will yield a good amount of diamonds for you while you are offline farming. This one might give you a few extra levels, which is nice as well. Uh, then we have those guys, right? Uh, extra items, if you want items. And this one will give us extra enchantment stones if you need them. So pick one of those pets and equip them on your main partner slot here. Uh, that way their skills will be available for you and you will be able to get, like right now I'm running with the, what's this, uh, enchantment stones and XP uh, level ups basically, because why the hell not. But one, once again I usually run with my normal build because I forget to change, but yeah. If you want to farm efficiently you should do that. And of course the main thing is changing your skill set. So this is the boss skill set and I'm running with this right now because it's me, but you would like to run with this skill set for the farming this is like the basic farming skill set that uh makes killing enemies faster so if, if you want to leave the uh, the game for the night switch to this skill set over here and use that one and if you combine all of those things that we mentioned in this video together you will get a significant difference over time there we go there is a, a conversation going about it right now at uh, 5 5 10 I destroyed 12,475 monsters in an hour. That's 623 monsters in 3 minutes. That's level rank 68 person with like S, S, R, S rank berserker, really high tier. So you can see that it's important for the long term progression, for the competition. And why? Because those levels will give you so much mastery. So 3 mastery per level. And I've got like 30 levels, 40 levels, that means about 100 extra mastery points. And that means if it's 100 attack, that's a lot. I mean, that's 1000 attack right here. That's crazy numbers that will help you to take out more enemies. So, yes, make sure that you're doing the right things. And it's also important to mention that you should remember to change it back uh, when you're going to fight monsters, dungeons, whatever. Of course, you got those dedicated presets here where you kind of set the masteries and all that but sometimes i don't know why sometimes they change around i don't know why is that probably a bug but it's important to remember to switch your gear because uh the equipment 
equipment doesn't count there you can't get a set of equipment so you gotta get your top tier equipment here that's why i advise you guys to run with the highest tier equipment because you might forget and yes overall i think in about a week of not really actively playing i've got 150 levels right here and of course the further you are the higher your level is the harder it is will, will be for you to level but early on like up to level 600 700 you will get insane amount of levels really fast and that will help you out to gain so much power moreover small tip for you guys if you need it uh you might want to combine it with the guild mission here with the levels it's, it's a pretty easy mission it gives only 100 points yes it's not crazy high but it's better than all the crap that you can get over here and it's really easy to accomplish specifically early on and you can combine it with um world stone use skills depending on which faction you go for which element and get this one as well so during the night i actually completed the full this 9000 time usage of the skill over here with uh the full set of stones so it's convenient it gives you a lot of guild points and it helps your guild so why the hell not oh yeah and the last tip guys of course before leaving that doesn't change that much but you want to go for those oath that will give you extra xp and gold rate that they won't last for long but I don't know about that, let me know down below in the comments. I always activate them if I go offline though. Because I think that those multiplier adds up for the offline, but I'm not entirely sure about that because it's really hard to calculate. Someone might actually know it. But I always use them before going offline because why the hell not? Uh, and during the offline time, your oath, they don't, you know, lose time, so they will stay. Uh, and for the active playthrough, if you are here next to your PC, next to your phone, you should activate them anyway because that's extra bonuses why the hell not oh and the main thing i almost forgot you should change the chapter you're farming uh like for example my highest range is king 2 5 right now but i farm something like uh master 5 1 or so so you want to take out enemies really fast over here like uh the faster you take them out the main advice on the discord was to one shot the enemy so probably even this one is too high let's try lower maybe four one so your goal is to find a stage where enemies die pretty fast and that will allow you to get more of those uh gains per second honestly it's a better option than going for something really hard because that way you will get more stuff per hour so yeah right now the enemies are dying pretty fast so i'm okay with this moreover if you have the stuff for the obelisks, the faster you kill the enemies, the faster you will go through the obelisks. And each obelisk is like every, every 10 waves of enemies. And um, yeah, that will maximize your diamonds gain if you have the diamond pet and the levels gain if you have the level pet. So that's really nice. So people are like advising different things here. We are really lucky. There is discussion going right now. Uh, the top 68 is advising to pick the stage where he is one shotting with the blizzard. Some people advise to take out, uh, to take the waves where you one shot with the white attacks. So the enemies will be one shotted with the normal attacks. But I mean, I think one shotting with the normal attacks without the berserker is a waste because you will have berserker for the most time activated you will have a lot of skills so right now i think the waves are being cleared pretty fast so i'm okay with that let me know which waves are you farming though down below in the comments i'm really curious to hear on that and uh, let me know what you think about this video and this guide and what's your way of farming xp do you farm xp do you farm items or gear or gold or whatever i'm curious that's really interesting so yeah for sure let me know down below in the comments and while you're going there don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this channel for the youtube algorithm for so more people can see it and get better and yeah check out the video description and the pin comment in the video description you'll find more playlists for idol berserker like more guides you will find link tree where you have the discord link where we can talk to each other you can find my other youtube channels for mobile games and pc games and my social media so it's a nice place to be i would advise you guys to join those because i'll be great so why not and yeah guys uh, that's about it for now i hope you've enjoyed this video and it will help you out have a good one stand push out bye <laughs>